Hey everyone, Chris Show can keep back with another toy review, and it's going to be on the Flame Toys Transformers Optimus Prime model kit, the IDW version. And I'll be fully honest with you guys, I've never, I've never read the IDW comics. I've actually never heard of them before, but I did see this. I did see the look of Optimus, and he looks bad. He looked badass, so I was like, "Nice." So I picked this figure up at the toy show, and yeah, I ended up. I actually ended up. How do I say this? Um, it was actually really fun to put it together, but of course there were some things I had to glue. I mean, not just the required part that needed to be glued together, but I had to glue the shoulder pads because these pieces kept falling off. And I had to glue the biceps here, the red part, because they kept splitting apart and falling, and you know, falling apart as well. So I glued those together. And they still rotate, so yeah, don't worry. And I also had to glue these pieces, the hip pieces, but of course they are required to be glued. So yeah, and as you can see, these you know the stickers for the forearm, the arm guards, the stickers for the knees, for the toes. For the grill, if you can see that, yep. as well as the uh, the inside of this part of a, of his head, as well as the Autobot symbols for his shoulder and for the chest. And I will say right now, I do not use all the stickers, and I don't plan on using them all because I hate using stickers. There's just I understand why they have have it like this, but just me and stickers. It's just not easy for me to put them on, you know, pr properly and, you know, without having them look like they're about to fall off again. It's just, it's frustrating for me to use the stickers to try to place the stickers on properly. That's all I'm going to say. But, yeah. Either way, though, I'm still very satisfied with this. And for a quick comparison, here's this guy. And here's the attack mode Optimus. Now, I still think this figure look, looks awesome. I mean, it has a much uh, more badass look to him. But of course, if you saw my review, I had to glue these shoulder pads up a bunch. And, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a uh, hassle. And of course, if you remember, unfortunately, oops. Okay, I'll just get this out of the way right here. Move this, move them out of the way a bit. If you can see, this thing has, uh, I guess it's gone wider or something. I don't know, but it now fits loosely on the hip, and it's not good. But either way, if you saw my review of this guy, if I get this off. Hold on a minute. There you go. You see that I did. If you remember, I brought the peg on this, so I had to replace a new, one, put in a new one. And surprisingly, this actually the new peg works better than the old one. Cause like I said, this is gone loose now. Over the over the uh over after over a year, I think. So yeah, that's a. Uh, that's a shame, but still, I really did like this figure. It's still an awesome figure, but this guy is a huge, huge improvement over the Yoda one. Again, the attack mode Optimus wasn't bad, but this was a huge improvement. Oh, I almost forgot, I also had to glue these things in. But yeah, this guy is a huge improvement over the previous one, and I am very satisfied with this guy. I mean, he does a bunch of things that the other one didn't. Like, the improvements I can find are the shoulders here, which are now complete ball joints to move back and forth, you know, all around the place. That's awesome. And while the previous one did have ball joint wrists, they were mostly reduced to just a hinge and a swivel. This guy 
has a ball joint at the at the lower part of the hand. They can move back and forth, up and down. Can't rotate, but this part of the hand rotates. And of course, the hip articulation has been improved. You can see it's just much better movement in the hips. And as well, if I could remove this and show you, walk through this without making hands fall apart again. On the shoulders and even the hip pegs, if you can see it right there, there's actually a mushroom peg. It's hard to see, but there's a mushroom peg right there that allows the arms and legs to stay on. So yeah, that is just fantastic. So yeah, this guy is a huge improvement from the previous one. So yeah, um, a huge, huge improvement. And I'm very happy about it. And you know what? Actually, no, before I do that, let's just go for her accessories right now. As you can see right here, he has his Ion Blaster. He also has two gun holding hands as you can see right here he has two display displayed open hands and two fisted hands so yeah this guy actually comes with a with slightly more accessories I think I mean the uh, three pairs of hands are a great touch because the previous one only came with two fisted hands and two gripping hands. This one comes with two gripping hands, obviously, like I said. And you know what? Let's just uh, let's just remove the gun. Just uh, put this back together. And as you can see, now the pegs, now it does look like they, because of the size, they won't fit on that well, but they actually do fit on no problem. You know, this one's a bit loose, and they're actually, they're actually pretty uh, tight, kind of hard to remove. But yeah, um, really great. I'm very happy with it. And to take a look, closer look at the Ion Blaster. It's obviously different from the uh, the one that came with the attack mode Optimus. And you guys might wonder if you can take the Ion Blaster from the and the axe from the attack mode Optimus and have the IDW Optimus hold it. And well, we're gonna find out right now. If I can just and just a bit of a comparison. Obviously, this is a bit bigger than this. Oh, uh, one one thing I almost forgot. There was one thing that the that this prime does that the other one doesn't. It actually, has a storage for the blaster on the back of his waist, and you can also store the axe. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have storage. But oh well, what can you do? Okay, hold on. this apart and he can kind of hold the earth the attack mode optimus's gun but it splits in the middle so he can't hold it but it just won't look good So yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna put this back in his hand. So yeah, he can't hold the attack mode Optimus's Ion Blaster, but it's not gonna look good because it splits in the where the fingers are at. And same thing with the axe. I did try it out. The axe can fit in his hand, but it does split in the middle. So yeah, he can hold the Earth Attack Earth the. Uh, the attack mode Optimus' hand. 
you can't hold the attack mode up and his weapons, but it just go it's just going to split the fingers. But yeah. Anyway, let's get on to the figure articulation. He has a ball joint in the head, he can move up that far, move down that far, has a head pivot. He also has a joint in the actual neck. If I could show it, where it could bend forward like that, so he could look down more. Like he's looking at a human or something. It's like, <clears throat> I am here not to be your, I'm here not to destroy your planet, but to save it, or something like that. But yeah, it's a joint and neck that allows him to move down much more. And these wings, actually on the back, they can bend, they can flap. Though I think they're supposed to be displayed like this. I mean, you can display them however you want. I already talked about the uh, ball joint at the shoulders, or the clavicles or something like that. They can move up that far. They can move back and forth. They can't move down. But yeah, just better range in these parts than the... Uh, Attack Mode Optimus, though I think I might get a new Attack Mode Optimus to replace the old one because that old one, like I said, it broke, and yeah, it's just, I think I might get a new one, a new Attack Mode Optimus, but I don't know. But anyway, I already mentioned this, his arms can fully rotate, I mean if you move this out of the way, obviously they can't fully rotate. They can swing up to the side that far. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. As I ex as I explained, the uh, ball joint at the lower part of the wrist and an actual wrist swivel. He has a ball joint at the diaphragm. They can move side to side, back and forth. It could kind of rotate, but not really. He has a ball. He actually has a has a ball joint. So he has a swivel at the waist. <laughs> Okay, let me rephrase that. There's a ball joint in the waist, but it mostly acts like a swivel. I mean, you can kind of pivot it, but it doesn't really move forward and back. But there is a joint that allows them to move. That does allow them to move forward, so that's cool. These uh, hip pieces can move up and down on this joint and here. So, and you can also there's a joint at the. Uh, that allows the leg to move forward that far, and with this added with this added swivel here, you can move the legs pretty much all the way forward. You can get, have him do a high kick like so. We're moving back goes about that far. Okay, you could do it more for more back with this type of joint, of course, and the legs actually stay on unlike the previous one. Like I said. He can't move outward that far, but because of this, it does get in the way. But again, with that joint out of, with that joint, you can have him do the full-on splits. So yeah, this guy has a better range in with his articulation. He also has a thigh swivel. He has a bent, he can bend at the knee really far. It's kind of like a double jointed knee. And I do like this part here. As you bend the knee, the tires actually go in to the actual leg. That's awesome. And there's a little ball joint on the little guard here. And the feet can move forward and back and side to side. But if you want more range, you can actually pull on the foot to extend it a bit. And it can move side to side a whole it has the pivot can work a whole lot more. It can fully rotate. And you can move the feet more forward and more back. So yeah, that's awesome. Just to... There we go. And finally, he has a toe joint. I mean, the previous one did have a toe joint, but it was a ball peg for the toe. But, yeah, this guy... This guy is a humongous improvement from the Attack Mode Optimus. And I'm just very glad I got this guy. Just going to... Retest the gun hand. Yeah, as you can see, he has a huge improvement from the uh, 
the previous one. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy them too. Probably enjoy them a lot more if you read the IDW comics. But again, I've never read the IDW comics. Because again, I've never heard of them. But this figure is fantastic. I'm very happy I got them. Anyway, that's pretty much all for the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time.